why anyone needs to zoom off into the sunset. There's literally nowhere to go. Anywho, they have these two. everyone my rose still here from fashion still nyc and welcome back to my channel do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos so we're just gonna hop right into it because i know why you're here if you read the title you want to see my fall and winter entire entire shoe collection i did one of these videos for spring and you all really like that seeing my spring and summer shoes you can watch that video next but today it's all about fall and winter so i'm going to show you my entire collection of tall boots booties combat boots pumps and flat shoes that i will be wearing all fall and winter so if you're interested in anything it will be linked down below in the description box and because i know someone is going to ask this vase is linked also down below in the description box. I get a lot of questions about this. It's down below if it's available. So without further ado, we're gonna hop right in because this video is gonna be hella long. Go ahead and get your wine, your coffee, you know, a snack because I'm showing you the entire collection and I'm trying everything on for you and giving you all the details on everything. Starting with my outfit of the day. So today I am rocking this brand new lipsticks. It's not brand new, but it's new to me because it's the first time I've actually worn it. It is Revlon Hot Chocolate and it's linked down below wearing my Dangle Chanel earrings. Love these. I've linked a few similars down below because these are sold out. The top is a sweatshirt from H&M. Actually, in my previous video, I showed you guys this top and I actually wore the minty blue version. This is more of the taupe version. It's more of a yellow color. It's not coming up on screen very well, but it is yellow. It has those really cool padded sleeves, very reminiscent of Isabelle Marant. It's a sweatshirt material. I got the size medium and I love it. I'm gonna be wearing this one and the blue one all fall and winter long. The skirt is the same skirt I actually wore in the last video, but it's the best skirt to show off every single shoe. It is a leather mini skirt from And Other Stories. Super high-waisted and kind of flares out, gives you that hourglass shape. If you're looking for amazing mini skirts, And Other Stories is where it's at. I'm not sure if they still have this one, but if they do, I will link it down below. I got my normal size, which is a size six. And for the shoes. We're just gonna go ahead and get started with tall boots. We're gonna start with these Wandler three-tone boots that I got last season. If you all watch my worst designer purchases video, you would have seen these. They were on the worst list mainly because they were super uncomfortable, but I have actually taken a lot of you guys' advice and broke them in. I did the freezer thing. I also got a shoe stretcher and now they're incredible. They were worth every single penny. I got these from Moda Operandi last season. If you've never heard of Moda Operandi, it's like a website that sells designer goods and you can see them on the runway. Then they have a trunk show and then you can pay half down to like reserve them. And then four or five months later, when it's finally made, you pay the rest and then they send it off to you. It's really like layaway for designer goods. So if you love designer pieces, but you don't like the prices of paying like a huge chunk of money right away, definitely check out Moda Operandi and I will link them down below. These are some favorites. I've worn these a ton of times. I wore these to New York Fashion Week this February. It's so sad that Fashion Week is just so different this year. Hmm. Super fun boots love them wandler has some amazing boots by the way i've put a few of my favorites down below in the description box from this brand if i can find these anywhere online i will put them down below as well i'm pretty sure they're sold out but wandler makes this like exact shape and type of boot in a ton of different colors if you're interested you know where they will be so that is my outfit of the day. All details are in the description box. And now we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into my tall boots. The next pair of tall boots are these snakes 
print boots from Zara. These are super old. You would have seen them in the previous video right before this one. I love these snake print boots. I mean, everybody who's anybody bought these from Zara, like everybody has them for sure. They're very well made. Hopefully Zara will make a similar one this season, but I doubt it. I went with my normal size in Zara boots and got a 41 and it fits really well. Because these are sold out, I will go ahead and link similar snake print boots that are of this length down below. There are so many, like not even dupes because this is probably a dupe of someone else's boot anyway, but there are so many similar ones that you can find these pretty much anywhere. So check the description box for all of my favorite snake print tall boots. I could just see myself wearing this with the outfit I have on. Snake print is a neutral, so it goes with everything. Now, speaking of another boot, that will go with everything. These are probably my favorite boots of all time. They are white Jill Sonder leather boots. They come up to the knee. They have a very chunky heel, which makes them super easy to walk in. They have rubber bottoms, which is great for when it's raining. I've worn these boots so much, mainly during, I feel like fashion weeks in the colder months, like February's, I've worn these and they're just a favorite. I got these at a sample sale. Yes, a sample sale for, I feel like they were a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's that good. Like originally down from like something crazy, like a thousand plus. They are white leather, so they're kind of hard to take care of, but I just make sure I keep them out of the sunlight and, you know, keep them nice and full. By the way, this is how I keep my boots standing up. I just make sure to keep all of these little cardboard pieces and then I stuff that with tissue paper. Super simple to keep it upright and looking cute in my clothes. Now, those are not the only Jill Sonder boots I have. I also got the same boot in black. I couldn't decide. <laughs> I mean, they were so cheap at the sample sale, like I could not even. So I got the black versions too. And I love that they're not that really shiny leather. Like I don't like the shiny leather look. They're really a neutral sheen boot again super thick heels so yes you can walk around in them rubber bottoms great for different types of terrain and they just go with everything these are super old and sold out so i will link similars if i can find any online at resellers i will link those down below jill saunders makes amazing boots and skirts now let's go over here to this section and get into my tomorrow melon boots now these boots scream i'm sexy and i know it they are my Tamara Mellon Icon boots and they are rightly named Icon because they're iconic. Look at that heel. This supple gray leather, that pointed toe. These are super tall. You can wear these over the knees. You can scrunch them down and wear them more like a mid calf boot. But these are just, ugh, they are so stunning they are so well made i actually did a giveaway for these i feel like earlier this year on instagram and also i think i did a giveaway here too on youtube so if you remember that giveaway throw me a hands up i think it's time for a giveaway maybe we'll do one this holiday season for you guys uh aren't they stunning and I love the gray. It's a good neutral. You can pair it with just about anything. I can wear it with the outfit that I'm wearing as well. Love them so much in gray that I also got them in black. All right. For me, Tomorrow Melon boots are true to size. I'm usually a true US 10. And any shoe made in Italy, I am a Euro 41. I got the 41 in these shoes and they fit perfectly for me. So if you're interested, definitely go with your normal size. These shoes are not cheap. They do go on sale fairly often, but they are worth every penny because they are gonna last me until the end of time. The leather is so supple. The heel is so sexy, like, ugh. These are my favorite pair of boots. I think anytime I wear these, either one of these, especially the gray ones, I get so many compliments. I think they still have these from Tamara Mellon. I do work with them on occasion. So if they are still available, I will link to them down below in the description box. If they are not, I will definitely link similars. Next up, we have another snake print booty. This is more like a yellow, golden, and black print. 
and these are actually from Steve Madden you guys they are so well made so chic I love it when the heel is the same color as the shoe I hate it when they do the different colors I feel like it just looks cheap but these they look very expensive but they aren't they're a really good height they're kind of like sit up at the top of your calf and for my Steve Madden shoes I always go with my normal size which is a size 10 and they fit perfectly I think Steve Madden did these in every single color so if you're interested I'm pretty sure they still have these I really love the shape it's super feminine so if they still have these I would definitely link them down below like I said snake print is a neutral you can wear this with anything it would even go really perfectly with the outfit I'm wearing which is why I chose to wear this so I can show off the shoes and show just how versatile boots can be for fall and winter next up we have a nice nice taupe suede boot yes you need a suede boot for fall and winter as well I prefer like snake print or like leather because it's easier to clean especially with the weather here in New York City it can be slushy and gross in the winter times and that can be harder to wear suede but if you get a nice suede protector everything should be fine with that sorry about that who is that Oh. these are from nine west as soon as i got these i told everybody about these in my insta stories on youtube because they are so comfortable so well made the heel is not too high it's high enough to look you know very chic again these can come up to your knees or you can scrunch them down they have a nice little zipper in in the middle here these are good for anyone who has wide feet i have normal size or maybe even narrow feet but they give you a lot of extra room and space also if you have a thicker calf I think they come in different calf sizes as well and this color this taupe color is just a great color for fall I can see myself wearing it with white satin slip dresses and really chunky knit taupe sweaters Ooh, and a nice trench coat that would be a really good look so if you want a boot but you're not great at walking in heels which which some of you have mentioned in the comments this is great because the heel is not tall but it's still tall enough to give you a little height and just throw a little sexiness on it last but not least for my taller boots i have another suede pair of boots they're a little dusty they've been in a closet y'all these are from ann taylor can you believe it as soon as i got these i told the entire world to buy them because they are very reminiscent of the chanel boots that are the same this part here is suede and then the toe is in leather the heel is also wrapped in suede and this just satisfies my need to have those chanel boots that i never got my hands on and these were also on sale at ann taylor so these boots are definitely sold out i got them maybe last year or maybe even the year before that but i will link some of my favorite ann taylor boots down below they make exquisite boots like their footwear is so well made and so affordable definitely check them out i love these so much i also got them in gray so of course they had the gray ones as well and i had to have these the gray ones are gray suede and they also have this little black tip again the heel is covered in the gray suede and these are just super preppy super cute you can wear them over jeans they look really great over jeans with like a chunky black sweater or a chunky gray sweater or a white tee and a long black cardigan like it's a very smart chic boot and I love these I really want Ann Taylor to come out with these again so I can have some backups so that is it for all of my taller boots now we're going to go into my booties it's really funny saying that go into my booties no that's not what i want to say you guys know what i'm trying to say i'm going to show you my booties now no that didn't work <laughs> So when it comes to booties, one of my favorite designers is Alexander Wang. He was actually my introduction into like designer wear. And if you've been following me since 2010, you know that I don't miss an Alexander Wang sale. Anytime I find something Wang, I buy it. And so I have a few pair of Alexander Wang booties that I'm gonna show you today that I absolutely love. Let's get right into 
the first pair you guys i need to wear these shoes more often bada boom bada bing look how extra these are they are absolutely stunning sorry if you hear people screaming outside like my neighbors don't care that i'm a youtuber these i think they're called the lists lys i'm not sure these are super old if you find them they will be somewhere at a reseller like the real real or trade z or vestiaire collective someplace like that but these are no longer available they are maybe like five years old i love that little shield in the front the pointed toe that croc embossed heel and that the heel is kind of thin and flat it's really cool they have this little buckle that kind of goes around your ankle to secure your ankle but overall these are just a badass pair of booties and that's what alexander wang is kind of known for very edgy looks so that is the first pair that i have and then i also have another pair here so I've worn these into the ground, so they aren't the most aesthetically pleasing at this point, but they have this leather part here at the bottom, and then they have a suede heel that's kind of long, kind of like a rectangular shape, and then they have these elastic suede bands that kind of go around your ankle. Now these were huge. They even had these in really tall boots that went all the way up to your knee with like this part here. And what got me with these shoes is I think I saw Gwen Stefani, like, you guys, this is how old these shoes are. I think I saw Gwen Stefani rocking these on a magazine cover, and I was like, I have to have them. And so when they came out, I went ahead and bought them. And I love them so much. I have worn them literally into the ground, you guys. Like, I got my money's worth out of these shoes because every time I wear them, I get so many compliments. So I do have more Alexander Wang boots, but they're more combat boots, so I'll show those later on. Let's get into the rest of my booty collection. Next up, you guys, you remember when like platform, very hella tall booties or boots were in? Like, look at that heel. That is serious. That is like five inches tall on top of like an inch platform. These are Stella McCartney boots and i cannot bring myself to part with them i love them i think the first person i saw wearing these was karen brick chick a lot of you guys bring her up in my comments me and karen are friends we've known each other for over 10 years we've lunched together we've dined together we've been in each other's videos she's amazing i think the first person i saw these on was her and then i just had to have them i ended up buying them from the real real for maybe like 80 percent off which was ridiculous and I love them. I also love that they have gold hardware and that the zipper is gold because a lot of shoes have silver hardware and I don't wear a lot of silver. As you can see, I wear a lot of like gold earrings and such. So love these. They're actually really comfortable. And because the bottoms are rubber, like it feels like walking on a cloud, even though you have a very tall heel. I'm going to leave these out because I need to wear these. So those are my Stella McCartney booties let's get into my Celine boots so I bought these I want to say this year from Bergdorf Goodman they are the classic old Celine with the accent agu boots that were like all the rage I really wanted the black and tan colored ones but I was way too late on the bandwagon to find these it's a miracle that I even found these they have that elongated square toe that's super chic. This part is pretty malleable. And then that heel that Celine is so known for. I absolutely love these. I pretty much wore these every single day. Earlier this year in maybe like January and February, they're so comfortable. Honestly, I wish I would've bought two pair. I do, because now I need a backup and like, these are never gonna be made again. I did find that I had to size down a size in these boots, not that it matters because they're not selling anywhere, but I'm usually a 41 in Italian made shoes, and these I wear a 40. Just a little tidbit in case you're wondering, there are so many dupes of these shoes online. I found a dupe at Nordstrom, I found a dupe at ASOS or ASOS, depending on where you live in the world. And I will be sure to link all of these Celine boot dupes down below in the comments 
and you can check them out. I know when I first got these, I linked a lot to the ASOS version and a lot of you bought them and love them. So yeah, stick with me kids. I'll take you far. La last but not least, I feel like I have more. I'm not even sure. I have to go through my boxes, you guys. Ah! Balenciaga. So these are my Balenciaga chocolate brown booties. I also got these from The Real Real for legit like 80% off. You guys, one thing that a lot of people don't know about The Real Real is that large department stores like Saks and Bergdorf and Barney's, when Barney's was Barney's, rest in peace Barney's. They sold their like overstock to The Real Real. So these actually came in a Saks box, like from Saks even though i bought them from the real real beautiful chocolate brown leather we all need a chocolate brown booty loving this green wrap around the heel that little wooden part i mean these are stunning they also came in like yellow oh, i wish i would have got the yellow ones too but i wear more green in my wardrobe green is actually my favorite color it's the color of money it's also my birthstone i love these perfect for fall and winter that chocolate brown is in brown is in right now so never gonna get rid of these literally have more of them kind of into the ground love these i'm gonna leave these out too because i need to wear these so that is it for my booties at least i think that's it i probably have more y'all and i'm also talking really fast because or else this video is going to be so long so if you missed anything just check the description box down below because i'm going to link everything i talked about along with similar options if they have sold out. So now that we have gone through the booties, and also that still did not sound right, forgive me. Now is the perfect time to go ahead and like this video. If you haven't yet, it really helps me out a lot. It lets me know what kind of videos you all like, and that in turn lets me know what kind of videos to create for you guys. So please do give me a thumbs up and if you are enjoying the content so far you might as well just subscribe so that you don't lose my channel so it doesn't get lost in the sauce and if you want to come back and look at my old videos I mean you're already subscribed and then you will also be notified of every time I post a new video as long as you click that little notification bell do that do that do that it helps me out so much and thank you in advance next up we're going to get into combat boots because they're in it's trending, everybody's making them, from Bottega to Prada. You gotta have a combat boot. All right, love, so next up, we're gonna get into combat boots and a pair of kind of like Chelsea S boots because I didn't know where to put these within these categories. But we're gonna start with these Proenza Schooler. They are kind of like Western inspired Chelsea boots. They are black leather. I also got these at a sample sale for something crazy. At the same time that I got the white and black Jill Sonder tall boots, I got these as well. And I just love these. They're so badass, but you guys, I've only worn them once. That is crazy. I love that really thick zipper there, but of course it is silver. Like I said, I don't wear a lot of silver, so I don't wear them often, but they, are stunning i'm gonna leave these out so that i wear them more often i also have a pair very similar to this that are alexander wang i honestly just have no idea where they are <laughs> already like ripped apart all what three of my closets trying to find them and i have always keep my boxes and i'm not about to open up every single box but you do need a good chelsea boot in your life and so i have linked a few of my favorites that i found on the internet down below in the comments these look great with the pair of like leather like leggings or even regular leggings or a pair of skinny jeans and like a cardigan or an oversized blazer just a really smart chic kind of badass look and then i also mentioned that i had some alexander wayne combat boots ah, and here they are you guys these are the most uncomfortable boots I had to stretch these out again, but I got these at a sample sale, the Alexander Wang sample sale. I actually think I took you to that sample sale with me. So if you haven't checked out my vlogs where I take you sample sale shopping with me, definitely check them out. And I bought these stunning combat boots from Alexander Wang. I've worn them a handful of times. They just, look at them. They're incredible. 
I love that silver detailing around the toe. It's just a very rough and tough boot. They do zip on the side so that they're easy to get in and out of, but definitely one of the most, not the easiest shoe to get on and off. It can kind of get on your nerves, but I just love the look of them. I wish this had a gold buckle. I think I would wear them more if they did. But I love pairing these with like a very flirty, like mini skirt or a midi skirt, like a floral print skirt, something that's very, very feminine. I like to pair these with to kind of toughen it up a bit and give it kind of, you know, that off duty type of look. These are long sold out, but if I can find them, I'll put some down below or similars as well. Gotta love Wang. He just, he knows what he's doing when it comes to shoes. All right, guys, so the next pair of combat boots comes from All Saints. Now, All Saints makes amazing like leather pieces, whether that be leather jackets, leather boots, leather pants, like they're really known for that, especially here in New York City. And so when I was looking for a good pair of combat boots, me and Rose went. I actually think I vlogged that trip. So if you're not watching my vlogs, like you're just missing out. I mean, these little sit down videos, they're cute and all, but the vlogs is where it's at. And if you like vlogs more, throw me a little hands up e emoji down in the comments. I would love to know if you guys prefer those. Anywho, these are my combat boots from All Saints. And when I got these, I raved and ranted about them and told you all to buy them because they were that good. They were also at one point on sale. I love that little buckle across the front and the little hook here in the back. Also, you can wrap the shoestrings around and tie them through this very tiny hoop here, which is really cool because that's kind of how I like to wear my boots. I like to wrap them around. They also have the little clamps that you can clamp the shoestring through as well and then they zip up on the side like i love when combat boots have the zip on the side because sometimes all the stuff in the front is just too much and it's really hard to get them on and off and so love these they are true to size i got my normal size in these so i'm not sure if they still make these but they come out with a really cute combat boot every single fall and winter season and it always sells out so if they are available i will link them down below if not i will link some of my favorites that they have available right now get them asap because within i would say the next three weeks all of the really cute styles always sell out from all saints and last but not least for the combat boots are these from Tamara Mellon. These were actually gifted to me last New York Fashion Week, February 2020, and I love them. They're very similar to the All Saints, except for the leather on them is not as shiny, which I like. I like the leather to look a little more worn. I also love that they have these crystals. I don't know if you can see them around the edge of the shoe and they kind of just like glitter. They're like black shiny stones that glitter in the light and I love that. Super rough and tough. They have these two straps across the front. They lace all the way up and what I love is that the front part here, like the tongue, is actually kind of like a sock material. Really cool boots. Tamara Mellon also does combat boots really well as well as these tall supple leather boots so if you're just in the market for a really good boot that's going to last you until the end of time tomorrow melon is where it's at if they still have these which i'm not sure they do i will link them down below if not i will link similar pairs so that is it for like my combat boots my chelsea boot i do not have any of those really chunky sold boots that are in right now like bottega makes or prada makes but I'm thinking about getting a pair, you guys, I'm thinking. I don't know. I kind of want a pair just, you know, to have, just in case. <laughs> I don't have any chunky, thick-soled boots. I, I'm thinking about it. I'm leaning more towards the Bottega pair, and I may get them. The only thing that's kind of stopping me is that because I plan on being in Miami during the colder months after this year, like I won't have much of a need for them, but you know, 
you never know. Let's get into like my heels and flats for fall and winter. Alright guys, let's get into I think what is one of my favorite types of shoes and that's my heels, my pumps, my mules that I like to wear for fall. We will start with my Manolo Hangisis. I haven't even really worn these yet. I got these for my birthday in May. By the way, if you haven't checked out that birthday designer haul, it's one of the best luxury hauls on my channel. Make sure to watch that next. It's in the haul section. But I love these for fall. I feel like it will give any neutral outfit a nice pop of color. It's the carry shoe. So good, so cute. And in the Manolos, I am a true size 41. So I feel like they are true to size. If you're interested, I got the tallest heel height as well. I just think they're a little bit chicer than the lower heel. Now, next up, ugh, oh, how good are these? These are Marco Di Vincenzo ruffle mule i actually picked these up from the real real i know the real real is under a lot of fire right now but personally i've never had any issues getting shoes from them i have never gotten any luxury bags any luxury jewelry anything like that from them so i can't speak on that but when it comes to like last season shoes they're a really good resource for that anywho marco di vincenzo red ruffle mules i had my eye on these for a while i think these are pretty much sold out these are several seasons old but i love marco di vincenzo and so i will include some of my favorites from him down below in the description box i mean isn't this a great color for fall this this red it's a vibe next up we have my chanel pearl heeled mules i have the black pair as well and I just think these are the perfect shoes for fall. I mean, they're so good. They have a similar version. I don't think they make this version anymore, but, but Chanel has a similar version and I will link it down below, but they're just so chic. They are a, like a tan leather and they just go with everything so perfectly. I ordered these half a size up because I feel like they run a tiny bit small. So I got the 41 and a half and it fits perfectly so chic my Chanel earrings it's a vibe next up we have another pair of Manolo Blahniks this is the BB pump and I picked these up from Nordstrom in a sale last year and they're just so good like this bubblegum pink is everything I saw these on Tracy Ellis Ross and I knew I deserved them so I picked them up I actually wore these while in Miami I've worn these during New York Fashion Week and they are super comfy. I actually went a size down in these because they run a little big, the original BB pump. I'm normally a 41, but I got a 40 and a half and it fits perfectly. If I can find any of these online, I don't think they have this color anymore. I will link them down below in the description box. Sometimes for fall and winter, you just need a burst of color and these do the trick, you guys. Giambito Rossi. Love these. I picked these up at Century 21 maybe like eight years ago. I've had them for so long. I love them. I consider them a fall shoe mainly because of this fur and this very emerald green patent leather. It's just a vibe. These are some of my favorite pair of shoes. Every time I wear them, I get so many compliments. These are so old. They don't make this exact style anymore, but Giambito Rossi does have similar pairs. So I will link those down below that still have the little fur balls in the front. I will link them and you can check those out. Oh, these are works of art, guys. Art. All right, another fall favorite pump are these Jimmy Choo Love Pumps in the patent leather nude color. I just love the heel. Like how sexy is that? I love that it goes in and then goes down. I mean, it's just, it's so chic. Love that little JC on the back there, Jimmy Choo. Love that point. It's just a very sexy, sophisticated pump. And this does come in a few different colors. I got my normal size, which is a 41 and it fits perfectly i would say that they are true to size especially in the patent leather because it will stretch just a really nice chic very smart pump 
Also great if you have a corporate job where you have to go in to work. Ow. A nude goes a long way. I know this isn't exactly nude for me, but I actually like this kind of color. I feel like it goes with a lot. So also for fall, my Gucci mules. I got these recently from Tradesy. They were used, so they're not in perfect condition. Someone in the previous video where I showed these was like, oh, they're all messed up. I mean, I don't think that <laughs> qualifies as being messed up. I barely paid like more than $100 for these. With Gucci slides or Gucci mules, I am a 41 and a half. These run a little small. These are sold out. You're not going to find these anywhere. They're a few seasons old. So if you check places like The Real Real, Tradesy, Poshmark, you may can find them still, but I doubt it. I will put some similar ones because these have been knocked off quite a few times. There's a lot of dupes out there, very good ones that I will link down below for you guys. This is a great color for fall. You can match it pretty much with anything. And then we have these super old Proenza Schooler Mules. And what drew me to these are the fringe. I love that fringe. I love this silver bar across the front. And I love kind of like this rose gold heel and the shape of the heel is really cool. These are very, very comfortable. I wear these into the ground. Like I've worn them so much. These are super duper old and not available, but just know that you need a great mule for fall. It's so easy, you can wear it with a pair of jeans and a, a chunky black turtleneck sweater and a trench coat and it's a look, it's a vibe. And last but not least for my pumps, I know you're thinking white for fall, white after Labor Day, yes! white is in you guys like you have to have a pair of white boots and white pumps in your wardrobe these are balenciaga i also have a square toed pair of balenciaga pumps but i don't know where they are these are just good i've been wearing these into the ground i wear them with everything they just elevate every single look and they are also really comfortable like they don't seem like they would be comfortable, but these are the most comfortable pair of heels that I own. There's padding throughout the bottom. These are the square Balenciaga knife pumps and they come in a variety of colors. I went with the tallest heel, which is very tall, <laughs> but they do have these in a shorter heel version that is much more comfortable if you're not a heel wearer. I think they come in a beautiful taupey nude. They come in pink, they come in bright green black they're stunning shoes so if i can find any for you guys i will link them down below definitely going to be wearing these a lot you're going to see these a lot on the gram all through september october and probably november so stay tuned and for my final pair of just flat shoes well not final i think i have two pairs ah you all have seen these zara furry slides I'm in love with these. I wear these all the time. Hopefully they're still in stock at Zara. If you watch my Zara haul video, you would have seen these. I mean, they're everything and a bag of chips and a glass of Merlot, you know, and a slice of cheesecake, but they're beautiful. I have a feeling they're gonna sell out. They're pretty cost effective. I feel like they were like 60 something bucks. If they're still available, I will link them down below. I went with my normal size and they fit divinely. But this is just perfect for fall. You can wear your joggers, your two-piece jogging suits, your two-piece sweatsuits, your leggings and oversized sweaters with these and your foot is going to be nice and warm. Last but not least, I have these Chanel slingbacks. I feel like these are definitely a fall shoe. I don't wear them enough, which is why I keep them here out. So to remind myself that I have them and that I should wear them. They're just a very smart business shoe. Wear them with jeans and an oversized cardigan and a white padded tee. And you have yourself an outfit. All right, you guys, that is it for my fall and winter shoe collection. Of course, that isn't all. I have a lot more, but that's all I'm willing to show because I've tried on thousands of pairs of shoes today, and this video is gonna go on and on forever and ever if I show every single pair. Make sure to check out my spring and summer video if you're still looking for spring and summer shoes or you live in a warm, 
weather climate i have linked that video down below if you enjoyed this video and if you stuck around this far you probably did please make sure to give your girl a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you never miss a video and y'all don't want to miss the next video because the next video is going to be a good one <laughs> it's going to be so good it's been very much requested so subscribe so that you can check it out when it drops on wednesday please do let me know which pair was your favorite from each category from the tall boots from the combat boots from the booties and also from like the heels and flats let me know which is your favorite out of each down below in the comments thank you so much for watching from the bottom of my heart and i'm gonna love you and leave you and see you guys in the next video bye